What's up guys, welcome to a really important FIFA 14 video. Uh, this is going to be my team of the year prediction based on uh, a, a survey called the straw poll um, which will be in the link below and uh, basically it's a survey uh, containing all of the players that, uh, that, um, uh, that FIFA have released for the uh, that could be in the team of the year for each position so the defenders, the midfielders, the goalies and the strikers or the attackers and um, people have voted for who they think will be in the team of the year um, or the world the world 11 um, and I have used the top rated players in this team uh, so as you can see the first player is going to be Manuel Neuer uh, he was a top rated goalie uh, I believe and um, the other goalies after him were Czech with 326 votes so that's 9 percent and uh, Casillas with 119 votes and Buffon with 102 uh, but Neuer was well ahead of them with 2,863 votes um, with 83% of the vote uh, so I think and a lot of other people think that he will be in the team of the year and he will be the main goalie and um, this is what I gave his upgraded card uh, plus 7 diving, plus 7 reflexes, plus 6 handling, plus 2 speed um, plus 6 kicking and plus 6 positioning uh, so uh, quite a solid upgrade there I would like to see him have 99 kicking, but I don't think they'll give him plus 8 kicking. I think that's too big of an upgrade, so I think that's going to be roughly his card, and um, I reckon he'll be 93 overall as well. So next we're going to have the first defender. Um, I'm going to go from left to right, so it's going to be Alaba, uh, the left back for Bayern Munich. Uh, now, he, got, he came second uh, for the Team of the Year defenders, and um, he got 2,424 votes, uh, which is 17%. Because uh, there were quite a lot of defenders, and um, me personally, I believe he will be in the team of the year. He's had an absolutely amazing season for his age, and um, in my opinion, definitely deserves it. Uh, so he was second um, out of all the defenders, which is really good. And um, I gave him plus six pace. Uh, keep in mind, this is from his. Up, um, I upgraded him from his inform card, uh, not his normal card. So a lot of the stats will be upgraded more than uh, usual. So I gave him plus six pace, plus seven dribbling. Uh, plus 5 shooting, plus 11 defence, so that's why um, on his own form card I think he has something like 82 or 81 defence, uh, plus 9 passing and plus 7 heading, uh, so quite a solid upgrade there, and he looks like an absolutely amazing card, especially with that 92 pace and 88 defence um, combined. So the second defender and the first centre back is Thiago Silva, um, who I think personally is the best defender in the world at the moment. Um, over everyone. Uh, now, in the team of the year defender vote, he came first with uh, again 17%, just the same as Alaba, uh, but he had 2,471 votes instead of 2,426, which is what Alaba got. Uh, so he got more votes than Alaba, and in my opinion, he deserves it. He's been absolutely amazing uh, this year and uh, for PSG, and definitely deserves a team of the year card. And I can bet loads of money that he will be in the team of the year because he has just been the best defender in the world. Um, in most people's opinions this year and I, that's why I gave him a 94 rated card uh, which is the highest rated out of all the defenders and um, in my opinion he deserves that and I gave him plus 5 pace to 85 plus 5 dribbling uh, to six, uh, 76 plus 2 shooting to 63 plus 7 defence to 94 plus 4 passing to 77 and plus 5 heading to 88 maybe could deserve more heading uh, but I thought plus 5 was high enough Although, if um, because he has scored quite a lot of headers this season, uh, he scored two in a row in uh, two and two consecutive uh, matches. He scored a header in each game, uh, so I think he could get more than 88 heading. Uh, but in my opinion, that is what he will get um, with the biggest upgrade being on his defending up to 94, which is an amazing stat. So the next player is going to be uh, the second centre back of this team and the third defender, and that's going to be Sergio Ramos, as you can see. And uh, now, me personally, I probably wouldn't have chosen him. Uh, but he had the most votes. Um, it was uh, between him and Dante. Dante got um, 871 votes, which is 6%, and Ramos got 1,536 votes, which is 11%. Uh, so Ramos got more votes than Dante by quite a bit. Um, me personally, I would have gone with uh, Company probably or Dante instead of him uh, because they've been absolutely outstanding this uh, last year for their clubs. Uh, but Sergio Ramos got the votes, uh, so I had to put them in. The, um, I had to put him in this team of the year, and um, I gave him plus five pace to eighty five, plus four dribbling to seventy six, uh, plus two shooting to sixty three, plus six defense to ninety, uh, plus three passing to seventy seven, and plus five heading to ninety one. Um, as you can see, I haven't upgraded him as much as Thiago Silva because, in my opinion, Thiago Silva is better um, in real life, and I gave Thiago Silva a plus one rating over Ramos, uh, ninety four instead of ninety three. Uh, but 
if you could make a team around those two, uh, because they both have 85 pace and insane uh, defence and heading, uh, they've been a they'd be an absolutely amazing pair in defence. And um, I personally would love to use them, but um, they'd probably be too much, um, too expensive for me to buy. So the next player is going to be Philip Lahm, uh, the right back for Bayern Munich. Uh, now it was quite close between him and Thiago Silva between um, whether I should give him a 94 rating, um, which is the same as Thiago Silva, or 93, which is the same as I gave Ramos. Uh, but I am 93. Obviously, they are both in uh, different positions, centre back and right back, so you can't really compare them. Uh, but in my opinion, I think Thiago Silva is a better defender in real life. Uh, slightly so, um, or the best in the world. So I thought he should, deserves uh, 94 instead of 93, um, and Lam deserves 93. And um, Lam was third in the defenders. Uh, Sergio Ramos was fourth, and Lam got 2,310 votes, which is 16% um, compared to Thiago Silva's 2,474, which is 17%. Uh, so it's pretty close vote. Uh, but Thiago Silva obviously got the main, um, got the first position, and Lam uh, became came third after Alaba, um, and um, I gave him uh, plus seven pace, plus eight dribbling, plus seven shooting, plus nine defence, plus eight passing to 92, and plus nine heading to 75. Now you may be thinking, why are you upgraded him so much? Uh, the reason is because he's had two in forms, uh, so I upgraded him from his second in form, uh, which is obviously going to have better stats than his normal card. Um, so that's why I've, uh, it looks like I've given him so much um, because I compared his stats with his uh, non inform instead of his inform or second inform. Uh, so yeah, I upgraded him from his second inform, and that's why his stats are so good um, with his 86 pace, 91 defense, and 92 passing uh, being his standout stats. So next we're going to have the first of the midfielders, it's going to be Ribery who technically plays as a left mid, not a centre mid, uh, but I put him as a centre mid in my team and um, in the prediction, um, if you want to do the prediction, I will put that in the link below, uh, you can predict it and if you predict it, all, every player right, um, you go into a draw and um, the winner who they pick out uh, wins two tickets to the uh, Brazil final in the World Cup. Uh, so. Uh, give that give that a try. Um, the link will be in the description below. Uh, but this is Ribery. I gave him a 96 rated card, and um, I gave him 95 pace, 90 shooting, 92 passing, 97 dribbling, uh, loads of stats over 90, 50 defense, and 61 heading. Uh, which, as you can see, there's plus 12 shooting and plus 10 passing, uh, which looks like a lot. Uh, but he hasn't had an inform. Um, and uh, his inform had much better shooting than 78, uh, which is on his normal card. Uh, so that's why I gave him 90 shooting, and um, and his passing looks much better on his inform as well. Uh, so that's why it looks like I gave him plus 10 passing uh, when I actually upgraded him from his inform card. Uh, but in the vote, he came first, obviously, because uh, he's in the um, Ballon d'Or. Uh, trio uh, with Messi and Ronaldo and um, he got 2,640 votes which is 19% um, and um, yeah obviously he came first and um, I was going to put him in my prediction anyway uh, because of how outstanding he's been for Bayern this season and um, in my opinion and in most people's opinions he definitely deserves to be in the team of the year. So the next player is going to be Gareth Bale. Uh, now I want to apologise now, I didn't at the beginning of the video, but uh, sorry if I sound slightly uh, bunged up, it's because I've had a cold for quite a while now, uh, but I'm still going to give you this video because uh, I don't want to get get it to you too late, uh, because obviously the team of the year is going to be, be released um, on the 13th of January, so pretty soon, so that's why I didn't want to do it. Uh, wait until my cold is gone, uh, so I'm doing it with a cold. Uh, but anyway, Bale is next, um, 94 rated card I gave him, and um, in the vote, he came second with 1,963 votes uh, compared to Rubri's 2,643, um, which was 19%, and Bale got 14% of the vote, uh, so pretty close. Uh, but in my opinion, he definitely deserves to be in the team of the year. He was absolutely outstanding for Spurs last season and for Real Madrid. Uh, it took him a bit of time to get used to playing for Real Madrid. He did score in his debut, but it wasn't that amazing goal. Um, but he's been playing really well. I think he got himself a hat trick um, a couple of matches ago. Uh, but he's been playing really well for Real Madrid. Definitely deserves to be in the team of the year. And I gave him a 94 rating, as I said. And plus 4 pace, uh, plus 8 dribbling, plus 9 shooting, plus 6 defence, plus 8 passing, and uh, plus 8 heading. Uh, so every stat, as you can see, over 80. If you put him as a CDM, he'd be amazing. Um, although his work rates might not work out in that position. Um, but I, um, I included him... Uh, I upgraded him from his inform card, which is a right mid, uh, not his normal card. So that's why there are so many plus nines and plus eights and um, uh, big upgrades. I upgraded him from his inform, uh, not his normal card, which is what I've shown on screen. 
So the next player is going to be uh, Schweinsteiger for Bayern Munich. Uh, now he's been absolutely in influential uh, for Bayern Munich this season and uh, last season or last year um, in um, the centre mid role. He's been absolutely amazing. Um, he came third. Uh, he's uh, I only included three midfielders in my team of the year, and uh, he came third with 1,756 votes, which is 13%. Um, so not too um, not too bad for him. Um, he was behind Bale and Ribery, obviously. Uh, but me personally, although he was really good for Bayern, I would have gone with uh, Yaya Torre, who's been, in my opinion, more influential for Man City, obviously scoring loads of goals this season and playing pretty well last season as well. Um, he got 1,232 votes, which is 9%. Um, he was fourth behind Schweinsteiger, so I personally would have gone with him instead of Schweinsteiger, but the public chose Schweinsteiger, so uh, they. So I, put, I included him in this team of the year um, uh, going by the straw poll. Um, but I gave him a 93 rating and plus 7 pace to 70. Um, obvious, um, obviously, uh, all the other players didn't get plus 7 pace, but I think EA, uh, last year with the team of the season, they gave him 71 pace, uh, which was plus 7 uh, from his inform. So I gave him plus 70 pace uh, from 63 uh, because I think they wouldn't uh, like him to have under 70 pace. But then I gave him plus 5 dribbling, plus 6 shooting, plus 7 defence, plus 7 passing and plus 6 heading, uh, so every stat over 70, um, and minus his pace every stat over 80, uh, so really solid card there, and um, if I could afford it, if someone lended it to me, I would really enjoy using it, um, definitely. So now the first of the attackers, um, as you can see it's Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, um, I'm going from left to right, as I said at the beginning of the video, so he's going to be the left wing, and um, on the attackers, I think he was first with 2,929 votes, which is 22%, and um, definitely deserves to be in the team of the year. Um, both him and the next player um, definitely deserve to be in the team of the year. And you can probably guess who the next player is. Uh, but he, 97 rated, uh, plus 4 pace, plus 5 dribbling, plus 7 shooting, plus 3 defence, plus 8 passing and plus 7 heading. Not that much of an upgrade because I didn't want to upgrade his stats too much uh, because of his high rating. And I upgraded him from his second in form. He's had two in forms. Uh, so it doesn't look that much of an upgrade from his second in form. Um, which is because of his high rating. Maybe he could have higher heading, I don't know, but that's what I gave him, and uh, gave him a 97 rating, obviously, uh, because the next player will have a 98 rating. Um, but, uh, yeah, he was first, and uh, got 22% of the vote, so quite a big share of the vote, and um, obviously deserved to be in the team of the year. So the second attacker um, is going to be in the middle. It's going to be Messi. Uh, I gave him a 98 rated card, uh, 1 plus from Ronaldo, because that's what EA will do. And in my opinion, he is slightly better than Ronaldo in real life. Um, but he has had an injury for the, um, for the last period of last year, which is why I think he probably won't win the Ballon d'Or. Um, but he still played really, really well when he wasn't injured and uh, definitely deserves this Team of the Year card. Uh, now he was third uh, with 2,262 votes, which is 17%. Um, and Suarez was fourth with 1,627 votes, which is 12%. Uh, so not that far behind, I guess. But Messi definitely deserves to be in the team of the year. And um, I gave him plus four pace, plus three dribbling, plus eight shooting, plus one defence, uh, plus six passing, and plus five heading. Uh, he hasn't had any informs because of his injury, obviously. And bear in mind that I can only upgrade his dribbling by three. Uh, because 99 is the max dribbling you can have, or the max stat on anything that you can have. Uh, so plus 3 from 96 was 99, so I couldn't really upgrade it anymore. So the next player, or the final player, is going to be Ibrahimovic. Uh, now, he was second in front of Messi, uh, Messi with nine, uh, 2,298 votes, which is 17%. Uh, really close between him and Messi um, in who's second behind Ronaldo, who was quite far ahead of both of them on this vote. Um, but... Ibrahimovic, in my opinion, would have been in the team of the year anyway. He's been amazing for PSG, scored loads of goals last year, and um, is still one of the best in the world. Um, if the Ballon d'Or had four players, he'd probably be the fourth player after Ribéry, because he's been absolutely amazing. That's why I gave him a 95 rated card, uh, which is one below from Ribéry. Um, notice I gave him 95, Ribéry 96, uh, uh, Ronaldo 97, and Messi 98, so it's kind of in order uh, with the best players. Uh, but I gave him, uh, um, he's had two uniforms. Uh, so I upgraded from his second in form, um, which is why there's so many big upgrades. But I gave him plus seven pace, plus seven dribbling, uh, plus eight shooting to 97. Um, but by the way, him, Messi, and Ronaldo, I all gave him 97 shooting because of how many goals they've scored. Uh, plus four defense. Uh, so his informs must have had quite big upgrades on the defense. Plus ten passing to 89, and um, plus nine heading to 88. So a really solid upgrade there. And um, now I'm going to move on to the 
full team of the year so you can see all the players in one team. So welcome to the squad that I put together. Um, it took quite a lot of effort to make this video so I really appreciate um, appreciate at least 10 likes below. Um, if a lot of people start viewing this video, uh, maybe up to 50 likes. Um, but anyway, um, this is the team of the year that I put together. I think they'll do it in 4-3-3 because on the actual website where you predict uh, the team of the year, they put four defenders, three midfielders and three attackers and obviously one goalie. Uh, so that's the formation I think they'll use uh, for the actual team of the year. Uh, they have been for the last previous uh, the previous few years been using the um, the world uh, world eleven that uh, I think it's UEFA uh, or F uh, FIFA I'm not exactly sure I think it's on FIFA.com uh, but they have been using that and they will do this year definitely because it's FIFA obviously and um, thanks for watching guys as I've said I really appreciate some uh, likes below for this video because it took a lot of effort to make every single picture for this video and uh, there will be links below uh, for the straw poll uh, for each different section each different um, each different vote uh, for the defenders midfielders attackers and goalies um, and also links towards the FIFA World 11 um, the FIFA World 11 predictor which if you create an account you can win two tickets uh, to the Brazil World Cup final um, but I will see you in my next video and I hope you have uh, a nice rest of the holidays because it is the last day for me.